Welcome to the Cushing Academy Class of 2020 Virtual Capping Ceremony. While we would undoubtedly prefer to be together in Cowell Chapel, celebrating each and every one of you on stage with a drum roll, for this year we are unable to do so. In this unique time, we will all be feeling a variety of emotions, joy, excitement, sadness, loss, hope, ambivalence, gratitude, pride, among many others. These will be felt today, tomorrow, and in the weeks and months to come. This is a normal part of life and something we all grow from. The capping ceremony serves the purpose of helping the Cushing community in coming to terms with saying goodbye to our senior class. Yes, our student party departed campus in March, depriving us of the opportunity to say goodbye in person. We truly miss seeing you each and every day and having you on campus. Even though we cannot be together during this time to celebrate all of you, we take great pride in our senior class and will celebrate you with our many, many traditions. To aid us in this process of saying goodbye, departing faculty member, Mr. Tristan Kishonis, would like to say a few words. Tristan? To the class of 2020, thank you for allowing me to offer this address today. It's truly an honor to get to share in this moment with all of you and your loved ones. I hope you all are healthy and well. Now, I'm sure you're prepared for me to talk all about the history of Ultimate Frisbee or UVA, or perhaps even the history of Ultimate Frisbee at UVA. And while I don't have much to offer in the way of Frisbee today, I would like to share a brief story about UVA. You see, the truth is that by the time I was six months into my first year at UVA, I couldn't shake a singular feeling. I hated it, and I wanted to go home. I had already reached out to professors for recommendations, applied to transfer, been accepted elsewhere, and have one foot out the door. No matter what is ahead for every single one of you, whether that's going to college, traveling the world, searching for a job, joining the armed forces, or maybe you're not even sure yet, I can promise you that there will be a time of transition. And that time of transition will come with obstacles because it will be unfamiliar. It will be different from what you're used to in spaces with people that you may not even know trying to develop habits that you're unaccustomed to. And because of all that, you may feel uncomfortable, really uncomfortable, and that's okay. While trying to sort all of that out can be daunting, what I can also promise you is that everything you need, you already possess. And if you don't believe me, I encourage you to think about your first day at Cushing, how it felt to be somewhere totally new, perhaps how it felt to be on your own for the very first time. And then consider how you feel today, how these past few weeks have felt, these past few months, how your relationships have grown, and you with them. So what happened? How does an 18-year-old first year in college who wants to go anywhere but Virginia end up becoming an English teacher with enough UVA apparel to clothe the entire town of Ashburnham? Not that that's saying too much. The short answer is, I decided to stay at UVA. I grew to cherish every moment there, and my classmates and peers became friends for a lifetime. As for how, I'd like to share with you three quick pieces of advice that made all the difference in my time, and hopefully they can be of some help to you in what lies ahead. The first of which is simple. Number one, say hi. I would argue that there are few words more powerful than hi. It is the gateway to friendship, to learning more about other people, to sharing more about who you are, and building genuine relationships. All of that starts with a simple hello. But even before all of that, hi is the acknowledgement of someone else's humanity. It is noticing that someone else is there. Think about the last time you had a rough day, or you were struggling, feeling lonely, and someone said hi, asked how you were, or what your name was. It's a simple thing, really. It doesn't cost you anything, but sometimes sheer acknowledgement can make all the difference. Sometimes all we need is to feel seen. And you never know. Maybe you saying hi is the brightest spot in someone else's day. So say hi. Number two, be a fan. When people ask me what I do for a living, I of course respond by saying I'm a teacher, but I often follow that up by saying that the very best part of my job is that I get to be a fan every single day. In the classroom, on stage or the sports field, or even walking across campus, wherever I go, 
I get the chance to support and witness each one of you as you work towards what matters most to you individually. And that is my advice to you, regardless of where you find yourself, and in whatever capacity it suits you, be a fan for the people in your life. Cheer when they do well and when they don't do so well. Listen when they need to feel heard. Celebrate their successes. And most importantly, remind them of what they can do, even if the world tells them otherwise. I promise you, in a life and a world that can feel so large, it seems way more manageable when you're around people and surrounded by people who remind you of who you are, of what you can do, and of what really matters. And finally, my third piece of advice, invest first and evaluate second. What ultimately prompted me to stay at UVA was that I realized I had been unfairly assessing my experience the whole time. I had gotten so caught up and feeling far from home, lonely, and uncomfortable, that I stopped getting involved. I was waiting for some sort of a sign that I belonged there before I started to invest myself in what it could mean to be a UVA student. After all, how could I truly evaluate whether or not I belonged there if I wasn't acting and making decisions like I was going to stay? Once I came to this realization, though, everything changed. I signed up for new clubs. I made plans to eat meals with my classmates. I carved out time for game nights in, in the common rooms. I made an effort to live the very best experience there that I could, rather than just waiting for time to pass and the year to end. I started acting like I would be there for four years. And then, only then, was I able to determine that it was the right place for me. And that is my last piece of advice to all of you. When you arrive at this next step in your journey, no matter where that may be, commit to giving your very best to that place and the people within it. And while that may be difficult, before you convince yourself that you aren't where you belong, or that you don't like it there and don't want to be there, invest fully in the place first. Invest in the people around you. Try something new, something that sounds interesting to you. And even if it seems tough at first, try. And try again. And keep trying. Be patient with yourself and trust that you are there for a reason. It will take practice. But if you view each day through this lens, only then will you experience the fullness of what awaits you at your next step. And who knows, maybe after doing all that, you'll realize you're not in the right place, and that's okay. Or maybe you'll end up like I did, feeling like home had been there the whole time. Congratulations on the culmination of a wonderful career at Cushing. I wish on nothing but the best, and I'm so excited to see what lies ahead for each one of you. Thank you, Tristan, for those wonderful insights. You have left your mark on Cushing Academy and will be missed. Best of luck in graduate school, and please come back and visit. Throughout the past weeks, many of you have sent along pictures and notes recognizing the individuals who have had a profound impact on your time at Cushing Academy. These are the individuals whom you would like to recognize as part of the capping ceremony. We appreciate your effort in doing so. For those of you who are unable to send in anything, we understand times have been difficult. Please take a moment, reach out to those individuals who have had an impact on your life at the Academy and thank them. It will mean a lot to you and I can guarantee you it will mean a lot to them as well. We have put the things that have been sent in to us into a slideshow for you to enjoy. Thank you.